Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unboxing from the Warner Archive sale, so stay tuned. So today I received my order from the WBShop.com. Um, they were having a sale for the Warner Archives line. Um, it was a sale for for 44 and then anything after that would just be $11. So these are all $11 each, which is a really good deal. I think I picked up um, eight of them. So I was going to go ahead and just open this up and we can see what all I got. Um, I usually participate in the sale anytime that they have this sale. I do like the um, Warner Archives line. They have some really good titles. Um, sometimes there's items that I would rather... There are some items that I would really like to have from Warner Archives that are usually not on the sale. Um, so I usually just hold out till they are and this time I was able to, to get some really good titles. <clears throat> so first up I got The Witches. Um, I remember seeing this in the theater. Me and my wife saw this back when it was released. Um, really enjoyed it. So nice to have this one added to the collection. And then I picked up Out of the Past. I believe this right here was a recommendation from David over at Cartoon Fortress. Um, I'm going to link his channel below if you'd like to check that out. Have never seen this movie. Um, he highly recommends it. And then I picked up V, the original miniseries. Um, I did watch this when it originally aired on TV. Enjoyed it. Um, they are releasing the, um, I guess it's some kind of a sequel. Not really sure what it is, but it's coming out pretty soon from Warner Archives. So I went ahead and um, added this one to the collection. And then I picked up The Fearless Vampire Killers, one of the classic um, vampire movies. Gets a lot of high recommendation on Blu-ray.com. Um, the Horror of Dracula, never seen this. It does have Christopher Lee in it. Lots of good reviews on this one. Um, I picked up Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. So here has a um, this has Elizabeth Taylor and Paul Newman in it. Um, never actually seen this one. It's one of the classics. So very happy to have this one added to my collection. And then I also got Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, um, the original movie from 1975, I believe. Never seen this. And then lastly, I got From Beyond the Grave. It gets a lot of really good reviews also. So very happy to have this one added to my collection. Leave me a suggestion below. Let me know which of these I should check out first. Um, there are a lot of really good titles here. Um, actually, I've only seen a couple of these titles. So yeah, just let me know which one you prefer that I check out first. I really do enjoy reading your comments. Hopefully you were able to participate in this sale. It does come around probably every three months. Um, it doesn't seem like it's been very long since they had the last sale. So very happy um, to have these new titles added to my collection. So there have been a lot of different sales going on recently. I have done a lot of um, purchasing online. I am um, stuck at home. I do work from home now until all this is over with. Um, so it seems like I've been doing a lot of extra spending. But um, at least I'm adding a lot of new items to my collection. So I have been able to find a lot of um, new YouTube channels that I'm um, very interested in. Um, I'm going to link a few of those below. Um, definitely check those out. There's some that um, I really enjoy as far as some of the Criterion releases and some of the Arrow releases. Um, really interested in watching some of those videos and I think you would probably be interested in those also. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can find me there, and we will see you next time.